Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching The Political Vigilante. Yeah, I'm not in a fancy studio wearing a $2,000 suit because I'm getting $10 million to spew lies for the billionaires. I'm just speaking the truth, kids. And what I'm doing is what you're doing. You're making Gotham great again. One of the people that has inspired me is somebody who is a hero. That's Julian Assange. And this is from his mom's. Uh, Christine Assange is organizing a fundraiser. Uh, please follow her on Twitter. Um, and this was submitted by Patreon member Justine Johnson. Um, and this is, and I will put this in the show notes, um, this tiny URL uh, where the GoFundMe is. But if you just type in um, Julian, Christine Assange GoFundMe, Julian Assange, you'll see this come up. So it's a fundraiser for Julian Assange, and I just wanted to, to give it a, a plug because my son, Julian Assange, is a multi-award winning Australian journalist who is facing the fight of his life. He is currently detained in Belmarsh and, uh, prison in England and a prisoner facing U.S. extradition. If he is convicted, he will be subjected to 175 years in U.S. prison. He will never be released. So obviously, uh, you know, I'm a free, I'm a, I'm a free press guy. I'm a freedom of speech guy. So what WikiLeaks has done, they revealed collateral damage. Chelsea Manning is in prison too. She got, well, I'm sorry, she got out of prison. Thank God. She got released from prison. I forgot about that. That was really good news that happened. Um, and they've raised money for her to pay her fine. So what's awful, also awful about what's going on with Julian Assange is they're starting to release prisoners in Belmarsh Prison because they're getting COVID. This is happening in prisons all over the world. It's awful. They're in a confined space. And, it, and so they're having to release nonviolent offenders at Belmarsh Prison. They've released some 4,000 prisoners, but they won't release Julian Assange because the American empire has such a stranglehold on the United Kingdom. They basically control. England is, is America's little, little bitch, man. That's what they are. So is Australia. So is New Zealand. This is from Christine Assange. Please follow her, Miss, Mrs. C underscore Assange. UK Home Secretary Preeti Patel reveals pedophiles prey on UK children in the COVID lockdown. This is the kind of journalism WikiLeaks, I mean, they're still doing, but when Julian was there, like this is, Instead of leaving Julian to die in a COVID-19 infected prison, release him to catch them. He once used his superb computer skills to help Australian police do just that. He's not a threat. He's a threat to the powerful. He's a threat to the ruling class. He caught pedophiles on WikiLeaks. Like that's what the work that they were doing. The dumb Hillary supporter, neoliberal, oh, he's a Russian bot. No, he's not. He called out the powerful. I hate to break it to you, neoliberals. The Clintons are evil. They're awful. So are the Trumps. So are the Bushes. So are the Obamas. They're all awful. He calls that out. Pretty Patel reveals more pedophiles are stalking children online. Fraudsters have used the crisis to con Britons out of 1.8 million so far, Home Secretary revealed today's Downing Street briefing. But they won't release Julian Assange from a COVID-infected prison? The mainstream media is not covering this. I had to find this on her Twitter feed because I follow Julian's mom's Twitter feed. Oh, the corporate media won't talk about Tara Reid, Joe Biden being a rapist. They won't talk about, they won't do, they, they, why are pedophiles and rapists just get, they're not prosecuted in this world. Oh, because they run it? We've learned that. Go to my Epstein playlist. You'll see, you'll see. Bill Gates has ties. Bill Gates has ties to Epstein. Done a lot of business with him. One of Bill Gates' head guys from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation was Jeffrey Epstein's ex executor of Jeffrey Epstein's will. Huh? Graham, what does this have to do with Julian Assange? All of it is connected. Julian taught us that. Julian inspired so many people and now they're letting him die in prison because he he's a journalist. 
Anyone that's any whistleblower journalist at the New York Times who's blown anything, any whistleblown anything recently, well, then they should be locked up in prison for the same reason they're trying to claim he, oh, he talked Chelsea, Chelsea Manning into hack. It's all nonsense. He was a publisher. He was given information and he published it like Ben Bradley did with the Pentagon Papers. No one's screaming about any of this. No one's screaming about any of this. Pedophiles are taking advantage of this. We need somebody like Julian Assange out there calling him out. Instead, they're letting him die in prison. So go to, it's in the show notes below. Go look it up. Christine Assange, go fund me for Julian. Check that out. That man was willing to go to prison. Chelsea Manning went to prison. She finally got released. They're not talking about this on the mainstream media. And they're going to tell you I'm not a real journalist because I'm not in a $2,000 suit. When someone's in too fancy of a suit, you know they're lying to you. I got not, what, what, I'm in an X-Men shirt. It's a size too small because I need you to see my vegan guns. I need you to know that they're here all the time. Ba-boom. Shave your knuckles for justice. Hey, everybody. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button and the subscribe button, even if you've done it before because they're unsubscribing many of you every day. Watch the ads all the way through. If you click skip ad, I don't get paid. Also, support us at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. Rockfin.com is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. All my videos are on Rockfin ad free. Thanks for watching.